Okay, so Google yesterday released their Nano Banana model, so I went ahead today and built my own app with this API. And I tell you, it's so cool. You can do so much cool stuff with this. So today I just wanted to show you a few of the things I have come up with so far. So we can start with this Photoshop feature I have. So I uploaded like a can of soda here. This is Pepsi. So I have my brush. I can do something like, yeah, I can brush this logo here. And I can just go to the text box, right? And I can say something like a Coca-Cola logo style. So let's see what happens if we just edit this area. So I can kind of mask this and I can send in both images, what's happening in the back end. We compare them kind of and we get a result back. So I'm just going to show you how this turned out. We can do a few more examples before I show you the other features I have generated here. Okay, so I upload this image here of uh, Taylor Swift, right? I can just take on kind of her bangs here if I wanted to, right? Something like this, I don't know. And I can say pink hair. Let's try that, see what happens. So you can see I just selected kind of her front hair here in her forehead. So let's see how that turns up uh, when we kind of do the masking part here in photo edit mode. Okay, so I wouldn't say this was perfect, but it's not too bad, right? It kind of blends in very good. So yeah, that is something we can do. We can probably come back to this Photoshop mode, but let's just some show you a bit about the other stuff. Uh, of course, we have the multi image. Uh, here I can upload two images, right? So let's do this uh, woman here. She's so like, uh, yeah, I don't know, doing some marathon. We can do the Pepsi can. And let's just merge these images. So let me do like a female drinking a can of Pepsi, right? So this is gonna take both images and kind of merge them into one. This is something we can do with the Nano Banana API. Uh, we can of course do single image, but that is kind of standard. Uh, but after we have done this, I'm gonna show you kind of the, uh, the other feature I've done too, that is pretty cool. Okay, so we have the result. That is just amazing, right? Look how good that is. Look at the can here. Uh, I guess it's a bit strange it's drinking with both hands, but it looks pretty awesome. Uh, some other thing you can see we added a Pepsi ad in the background here. It looks like that, right? <laughs> That's a bit strange. Uh, but now I can show you the video generation feature. So every generated images kind of is passed over here. So now we can animate this. I can say something like, uh, let me show you. Female drinking a can of uh, soda, right? Uh, so yeah, let's do five seconds. This is using the Kling uh, 2.1 Pro model. So now we can take uh, every image we edit with Nano Banana and just uh, turn it into a video. This is something super simple you can do when you kind of uh, get kind of to know with the API. And you can see here 2.1 Pro video generation. Uh, the kind of the generation is just passed over to the input image. So this is so cool. I'm look, really looking forward to building more stuff uh, or building out this app with more features. Uh, I just had so much fun this morning playing around with this. So let's just wait for the video and let's check it out. Okay, so you can see we have it here now. So let's play it, right? There's no audio, right? But that's something we can do if we wanted to. So you can see she is now drinking, uh, having a sip of the Pepsi, right? Perfect. What can I say? We could have done 10 seconds too, but that's just really cool. Uh, so that is something we can do. We can come back to this, uh, but I have another feature I wanted to show you. This is the time travel feature. So for this, I think I want to do an image. Uh, I just took a screenshot of myself here, right? So yeah, <laughs> not the best, but uh, here we can select stages, right? So this is, I call this the time travel feature, right? So upload an image, describe how you want it to evolve through time. So I'm going to do four stages and here you can describe uh, evolve through a different historical era. So we can try that. Uh, but let's do let's do show image from 1970s to 2000s. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but let's try to do those four stages, right? So the way I did this like technically is I just using uh, GPT-5 Nano to rewrite the prompts. So if we go all down here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, you can see we are rewriting the prompts here. Transform this scene into 1980s, 1990s, 2000s, and vibrant 70s. So we're just using GPT-5 Nano to do this. So uh, I'm going to take you back when we have the four results here. 1970s, vibrant. 
Okay, so <laughs> this was oh, this was kind of embarrassing. So okay, so here's me, 1970s. This was a bit strange, maybe. Uh, I don't even want to see 80s. Look at this. Okay, it's pretty good, right? It kind of looks like me, but look at this outfit and the hairstyle. So something failed here at 90s. I don't know. This doesn't even look like me. I'm not quite sure, but 2000s was pretty good, right? So. Oops, uh, so let's take a look at this one. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's a slick back. So I'm pretty impressed, right? It looks pretty good. So let me do something else here with the time travel feature. That's pretty fun. So do something like... Um, I'm going to do historic uh, leaders or something. Okay, so again, I think the results were very good. So this is ancient. Uh, th is this me as Jesus? <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, next one is medieval. So here I am a drawing, but I, I think it's cool. Next up is modern. <laughs> Look at this style. That's pretty cool. I don't know what the last one is. Contemporary. That's just me. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. Uh, I need to come up one more thing. I just think this feature is so fun. So let me do me as uh, magic cards or something like this. So this is pretty fast because we're doing it in parallel. So you can see here is the heroic wizard. This is me, right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> I like that. I even have my cap on. Let's say the next one. This is a legendary creature, human wizard. Okay, I can see that. Jorun, okay. Uh, next up we have uh, 3VWU. Again, looks like me, pretty cool. Archmage Teron. When an Archmage Teron enters the battlefield, screw two. Okay. <laughs> Not the most impressive. Maybe the text isn't best here. Uh, again, that kind of looks like me. His Ragnar whispers secrets of ancient something something. Uh, but again, pretty cool. Uh, I want to do one more, uh, a couple of more things. Uh, I kind of want to do uh, some merging and turning into a video. I think this is a great potential of things you can do. So let me take like a, a model, a product, and let's turn it into a video. Okay, so I found this image here of uh, a celebrity. I found a floor jack. And let's see what happens if we do these two. And we do something like woman changing her tires on her car with a new floor jack. So I'm going to send this. Um, I don't even know, do they have like this celebrity? Uh, I haven't really tried it out. But if this doesn't work, I'm just going to take another person. Not a famous person. Let's just see what happens here. Okay, so this was so good. Look at this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna download this. But look, that is like Taylor Swift, like changing her tires. So now we can go to the video generation, right? And we can say, woman changing her uh, tires with uh, a new floor jack. Smiling. Smiling, right? So let's send this. So let's do five seconds and let's grab this video. So if I wanted to sell this car jack, right? That's perfect. Okay, so let's check it out here. Uh, I'm gonna blow this up like big screen. Uh, maybe my head is in the way. Let's do something like this, right? And uh, let's see this. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so the floor jack moved out. Maybe it wasn't perfect. I wouldn't say that was very good, but the image is good. I don't know what's happening here, uh, but I, still, it's pretty fun, right? So, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff with just this simple pipeline here. Okay, so I want to do a thumbnail with this image here. So let's see what I can do uh, using kind of the Photoshop tool. So I can do I can do the brush, something like this. And I can just kind of just brush all of this, right? The full thing here. That should be pretty good. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, that should cover it, right? And I can just maybe try to fill in the left side of image to fit with rest. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to send this. Haven't tried this. So I'm going to take you back when we have the result. Okay, so I wouldn't say this was perfect. You can see kind of the reflection is a bit bugged, but let's see. Uh, I'm going to download it and I'm going to try to use this as the thumbnail. I'm going to add some text here and stuff. Maybe it doesn't show that well. Uh, one more thing uh, I wanted to do, multi-image. I want to upload, uh, let's say I found this, uh, what was this? Uh, 
yeah, this was my logo. I was gonna place that. So this is like a, some image I found of a girl and let's do my logo, not that one. Uh, this one, not that one, but this one, right? And I'm gonna say, female model holding up a sign uh, of the All About AI YouTube channel banner, insert like and subscribe, invite above 169 format. Haven't tried this, don't know what's gonna happen. I don't think we will get the 69 format here. So I don't think this is gonna work, but let's give it a try. Uh, so while we wait for that, if you want to try out this app here, uh, if you're a member of the channel or if you become a member of the channel, I have uploaded the app to GitHub, Nano Banana. So this is the AI image uh, editor and video generator, right? So all the code should be up now if you want to try it out. If you are a member of the channel, if not, just follow the link in the description and I will invite you to the GitHub repo. So yeah, there's a lot of potential in this web app here. You can kind of turn it into whatever you want. Uh, okay, we got something here, right? <laughs> uh, not perfect. Uh, let's do like and describe invite above her. Uh, dark movie set. Something like this. Let's try that. Give it one more chance. But yeah, like I said, if you're a member, become a member. You can get access to this app and you can... Just uh, plug and play and try it out for yourself. So I did create this with the model. So this is probably gonna be the thumbnail you are seeing on this video, right? Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so we put in this model and my uh, YouTube thing. So we kind of ended up with this. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, go ahead, like and subscribe. Uh, it looks pretty cool. So I hope this gave you some inspiration and this made you wanna go try out the new Nano Banana API. Uh, I'm running it to through Fal, uh, but you could do it through Google, I think, too. And you can also play around in Google Studio. This is where I kind of created this. So that works also pretty good. So yeah, superb, interesting model. I had a lot of fun playing around with it, and I'm definitely going to keep adding features to this app here. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day, and I'll see you again, hopefully, very soon.